Hi, welcome to this tutorial. We're talking about Sardi and all its creations. So Sardi comprises of 20 icons and some of them are core icons and some are, um, of them are just folders that are added to it. We have the possibility in Sardi to be flexible and modular. Okay. And flexibility is done with scripts and modularity is actually done with copy pasting folders and changing the inherit line, but that's technical and it's all explained on Eric Dubois. What we're going to do in this tutorial is going over all the created icons and variations and uh, mixing that we've done. So there are two things you have to look out for. If you're on Arch Labs, you just can type it. We type Sardi and then, for instance, mixing or something. Uh, voila, there you have Sardi mixing icons. So that's Sadly icons, but then mixed with different kind of folders. That's what that is. The mixing is modularity. One module and another module gives a new icon set. That's what's going on. When it says um, variations, it actually is the script that's running. You have a sadly flexible, which is blue, but you want it pink, you want it red, you want it any other color. That's a variation on the same theme. Okay, so that's the general idea. Um, if you're watching this and you're not on Arch Labs, then we have here this GitHub and you get uh, all these icons are coming from uh, GitHub. And this is the one that's maybe interesting. These are all the uh, icon themes and the variations. 103 variations and mixing are here present. So it's all of it. So I don't want to uh, go up here to the GitHub and install everything single-handed, which you can, if you decide this is my thing. Uh, start the mixing, start the ghost flexible, start the orb color and mixing. So everything is separate. So you can decide if you say, I don't, I don't care about any of these, but just this one, the Sardi mixing, for instance, up here. I want that one and that's it. Okay, then you can get only this one here. So that's the idea be more uh, specific and uh, well help the users to make a choice but it becomes more difficult as well since we now have 103 choices so let's go over them that's this idea of this tutorial let's go over them so I open up my file manager with this Tunar and Tunar is our file manager that makes it uh, quite fast on Arch Labs but as you know Tunar is uh, from XFCE so any XFCE uh, will show up the same, be it on Ubuntu, be it on Linux Mint, be it on anything else. So it's just Tuna. Let's go over it. Let's start all the way at the top. As you can see, this is the speed I have. I have 103 themes plus more because there are surfing icons, Papyrus, Numix, other stuff is on there. So it does not slow things down installing more icon themes. It just gives us more choices. That's it. So if something pops up, you have, this is the first one. If something pops up like a beautiful conky you changed, a wallpaper, that's uh, fine. And then you say, oh no, these icons do not go well with the rest of my system. Then you have now 103 plus 20, so 123 possibilities. Let's go over them one by one. The only thing I have to do, and I hope I remember it every time, is that I have to click it here. And when it's activated, I have to wake up Tunar and then Tunar is going to load the icons. So this is a new one. This is the standard look. This is the same look with another color. So this is a variation on Sardi. Okay, so aquamarine, maybe you like it at some point in time when you have a green wallpaper behind it. I will always, yeah, I will show it you, I'll show you this with this Arc GTK team. Let's have a look. Oh, it's here. Eh? It's Arc Dark that I've now selected, it seems. So, um, of course, you can go for an Arc Darker, which is going to be bright. So it depends what you have, uh, but I'll keep it uh, dark. Okay. So, Sardi Colora Botticelli. I do like this one as well. Gray, bluish one. Sardi Colora. If you want to go more passionate, red is always a passionate color. Gothic. Just comparing here. I think well, might go one of the two. So might delete one or 
make another color. Sadi color line, Sadi slate, twine color. Where do these names come from? These are the names from the colors. So I have based myself on this one. I base myself on Sardi Colora and then I make a variation and I give it the name of the color. Sardi Colora Fire Brick, Sardi Colora Cut. Okay. We were a Viking. This is a combination again from so modularity, other folders with Sardi. The same applies here, but then now we're at Sardi Flat, so other icons here. This is the standard Sardi Flat. This is the new Sardi flats. This is mixing, mixing arc icons with Sardi flat. Sardi flat Colora. So these are the icons from Sardi flat Colora. So what did I do? I changed these colors. This is light green, a dark green and an icon. And you can change to any color you like. You just use a script and you run other colors if you don't like these. But these have been created already. So it's just download, click and be done with it. The fun for me as well, and for you I guess, is when I make a new version of 9.3.1, we're actually on, on Sardi, I'll have, I've made, a, I don't know, 500, 600 lines of scripts, and it just updates everything in here as well. So in six minutes or maybe less, everything is transferred to the GitHub and is uploaded. Even the AUR packages, there's a script to just to change the version and everything is up to date. So that's maintainability for you. I wanted to have this, otherwise it would be so much work. So I delegated the work to my scripts. Okay, Sardi Flat. These were all Sardi Flat, as you can see. Sardi Flat Polo, the last one. Now we're going to move off to Sardi Flexible, if you like the Sardi Flexible colors, uh, icons better. So these are the Sardi Flex, well, this is actually the standard one. This is what you download from SourceForge, but you can make variations and this is a mixing thing. We have arc themes from Horse 3180 and we mix it with these ones. Or we're gonna color, which is then an, uh, a variation, uh, flexibility, a script, we change this color to that color and to that color, to that color. The Faba theme, so the icon themes from Faba, the color from Faba. You could combine it with the folders from Faba. Why not? Everything is possible as long as you know what you're doing and everything is explained on eric2.be. So be my guest, use the knowledge and make your own icon theme. So these are the love color. I thought it would go well, blue with blue, but another kind of folder. And why not have a contrast between the colors? Or this one. You could make the, maybe make the same color in the icons, but that would be scripting. And you can do that with a script inside the Sadi Flexible folder, this one. Why not in red? Oops, sorry. Then Flexible Mandy, Niagara. So basically they stay the same, but the colors change. One of my uh, desktop theming projects on Eric Dubois LBE. I thought that would be nice as well. Blue with blue. Doesn't need to be exactly the same hexadecimal code to have the blue. Thought it might be suitable you can change it any way you want that's the message as well of course the flexibility the modularity we have 103 extra icons just being modular and flexible so you can be two sadly flexible and now we're off to the next one next core one is sardi ghost sardi ghost is all white and what we did is we combine it with arc theme folders which is then again modularity so um, mixing why not in black this is a standard one or like this or maybe a little accent in red like that one as well 
or this one, very neutral. We're now already moved over to the flexible Colora, so now you'll see that the, this one, which is a standard one, will get another kind of color. Just, that's it, it's just the same icon with different colors. I provide you with SVGs, you just change the colors. And here we have different kind of icons on the way for all and everything you see. And this is then again combination with the white and the new mix folders. So as you can see, a lot can be, oh, there we go again. A lot can be done. We were here and we are finally out of the ghost ones and we are now at Sadly Love. So they are alphabetically, it means they're intertwined or you say not, not sorted by the icon theme. So the L sets it here. So we're back at the Sadly icons with the Love icon themes and the Love Golden and the Love Niagara. The love red. This is a standard one from Mint, Linux Mint. Sadly, mono arc, so these are mono, and this is the arc one. And this one is only available yet, the these icons I mean, is only available for the Sadly Mono Arch Lab. So I think I'll make a few more available on for, for Sadly, maybe. We'll see. So it's easy for me to create new ones, and so it must be also easy to create for you. Um, and just follow the tutorials on Eric Dubois. So Blue Love, Botticelli, like that one as well. Colora, Deep Sky Blue, also nice. So different kind of colors, depending on wallpapers or your mood, time of the day, you just change. Now when and Sadly Mono Numix and in the Numix that's the standard Numix folders, but Numix can be changed. So four parts, and I've changed them in colors. So this is the standard one, and now we get all the Colora variations. So variation one, variation two. Sometimes you have to dare to use some clashing colors, and we'll see what happens. And it's up to you to make new ones. This was a project vampire, so a vampire wallpaper, dark red, and then I had other icons. I, know, I, was, I needed other icons for it. Violet, Atuzi, and we are off. So that was a new mix, Sardimono new mix. Now we're at the Sardimoni Papyrus Colora, which is, yep, that's the standard one. And we can change these Papyrus folders, and there are also nice ones in there, like this one. If you like the blue one, or just neutral, the blue, why not all yellow? Man's color, turquoise, reddish, old called Valencia, and pink. And we're off again to a new one. This is a standard core one, Sardi Mono Numix, uh, Mono Vertex, sorry. And this one is a Sardi Numix, which is a new one, it's a mixer. So we get the new mix folders and we put them in Sardi. That's modularity. Take one engine, we have the and the train, locomotive and engine and, and wagons. Well, we take one wagon and we put it behind another locomotive, which is I call Sardi being then these icons being the main driving force for the theme. Sardi or Colora Aquamarine, Aquamarina, I know. Anyway, that's the look. Arab Colora Arc, Bitter Lemon, very yellow. Black Rock, this is the standard look. So these are all the variations, if you like the Sadi Orb icons. Havelock, Love, Colora, Papyrus Casablanca, I like that one, I wanted to have it there too. Cornflower, Havelock, why not this one? But this is not the papyrus anymore, so we're back at the Colora uh, folders, like these. Also a nice one. It's all very personal, I know, when I say that's a nice one, it doesn't matter really. It's up to you to decide what's in there, and what you like and what you don't like. But 
I only want to urge you again to tell you that we have now 103 icon themes extra on top of the 20, 31 mixing and 72 variations. Mixing is uh, actually modularity and the variations is a, a script you run, is the flexibility you have. So if even these are not enough, then you can create more. It's that simple. Um, that's why I made Sardi that way. Um, it's not a PNG, it's an SVG. You change it, you make it another color and um, hook it up with other folders. You maybe find on the net and they say, okay, I want to combine these folders with these icons. And then if you learn how to do that on Eric Dubois, it'll be, everything will be just fine. If you saw this tutorial and you say, whoa, where are all these things? So everything is in here. Sadi Extra will always contain everything, just plain everything. And the rest comes from the, we have to have this one from Sardi, the SourceForge. These are the core things because all the things in here, of course, depend on the core themes. If you don't have a Sardi icon folder, then nothing will work. Uh, that's normal. So as you can see, a lot of information is on here on Eric Dubois and a lot more will be added later. But <clears throat> the main thing is, of course, try it out. And as you can see, it does not really matter um, how many icon themes you have here. Scrolling down and up is no matter at all and switching is no problem. So enjoy. Um, there's a lot of um, things to, to uh, check out, to discover and uh, have fun like always.